Christopher as always, and uh, this is the new project. <laughs> I, um, I've been um, thinking that wouldn't it be nice to have a raised bed in the inside garden? And uh, I figured if I was going to make one, I should make one that is just stupid big. Um, a friend over at uh, Google Plus said, well, at least you have a small boat. And uh, <laughs> I guess he's right, because um, this is very big, but um, it's going to make for some uh, crazy good soil. And uh, the roots uh, will have plenty of space to go crazy, and uh, I think I could grow uh, almost anything in here. So um, we will just see. It's, um, it's made by untreated wood. It's, um, the, the side walls are um, one and a half by eight inch, and the top board is one and a half by six inch. Uh, and I have, um, the whole floor is, is um, laid with um, planks. I don't know, what's it called? And the whole thing is on uh, industrial wheels. So I have six six wheels underneath, and uh, yeah, I can move it. Not with the, when I have it filled with dirt because I think it's going to be too heavy. But uh, it's going to stay here for a while. So um, yeah, I'm rearranging a little bit in the room. Um, this is the this is where I usually uh, make my videos. Um, I'm not going to do that anymore because. Uh, I'm going to remove all the pots and I'm going to have only the, the grow containers on this wall. And on the other side, I'm going to put in the green carpet again and uh, we're going to make our, uh, our little nice studio. We're going to have some citrus plants and uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be nice. So, but this, this bad boy is uh, mainly going to be, um, be for, um, we're going to use it for peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers. Maybe we're going to put some peanuts. I really want to grow peanuts because uh, I have the peanuts in the pot, but um, when they grow up... Oh, actually, I'm going to show you. This is a peanut, <laughs> and they're going crazy. Uh, so um, it's plenty of space for the roots in here, but the problem is that when, I, um, when this thing grows, it puts out these side branches, and from the side branches, uh, it puts down the... Um, the stems that are going to be uh, eventually going to be the peanuts at the end, uh, where where they an end up in the um, in the soil. So, but the problem is that um, they want to go outside, and as you can see, I have some flowers. Ah, you may be not be able to see it, but uh, I have some flowers over on this side. And what that's going to do is, when they finish flowering, they're going to uh, put out these uh, teeny weeny stems. And they're gonna go down into the soil and um, eventually become peanuts. But the problem is that the the pots are too small. So if uh, I was thinking, if I put them in the the raised bed like this, then they will have plenty of space to go out and put down peanuts. And um, it only takes about maybe like almost 200 days, I think. So uh, it's gonna be a long-term project. But yeah, the crazy things you're gonna willing to do for uh, one peanut. Um, yeah, so um, that's a sidetrack. But the thing that we're doing today is uh, starting to fill this with um, with soil, and um, <coughs> I, I've been calculating um, back and forth how much I would need. This is um, it's about 50, 50 cubic um, feet, um, one and a half cubic meter. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, the bed is um, 13 feet, 400 centimeters long on the inside, and it's um, 2.8 feet or 80 centimeters, about 2.8, 2.7 or something, I guess. Um, so it's, uh, it's really huge. It's, yeah, I should have made it in two pieces, but uh, why do it sensible when you can do it crazy. This is probably the biggest indoor <laughs> grow box I've seen. Um, what I'm trying to accomplish here is um, make up a soil that's um, rich, nutrient rich, uh, well drained, 
and um, I'm, I'm going to use all my tricks, <laughs> um, putting in everything that I have. I'm putting in, uh, well, well the, almost I would say the main ingredients is cocoa peat I, or cocoa coir. I buy it in um, these five, uh, five kilo bricks and then I water them out and uh, one brick like this will easily fill uh, a container like this. So I water it out and it will eventually uh, dissolve into the water and uh, yeah, puff out like popcorn. And um, that's the main ingredients. I'm, I'm using 10 5 kilo blocks, which is supposed to give me uh, about one cubic meter, but nah, I don't think it will. Um, that's one part of it. and. Um, I've, I'm using uh, some bagged compost. It's made by um, it's made from composted bark from different kinds of, of bark and uh, some uh, chicken manure and uh, yeah, that's I think that's the main ingredient. It's